So here I am prepping the pads that I'm going to be using to separate the roof rack I am building from my car. And now these are just your ordinary canoe pads. I got them on Amazon. They were listed as wide mouth uh, pads. I have my older pad in the, the picture there. You can see it's actually a little wider than that black pad I'm working on. Um, which did a nice job, but this one I'm trimming to fit the 2x4 just right. The other pad I'll stick with for my canoe, but that pad's also broken. If you look on the left-hand side, if you use these in extremely cold weather, they break very easy. The foam just doesn't hold up. So I'm trimming it to fit the 2x4 a little better, so if I get it in some cold weather, I shouldn't tear it apart. At first I was using a dull blade, it didn't take me long to switch it out to something a little sharper. Now if you look at my my final design as it uh, comes up, I my side boards are higher than my center boards, and this is fine unless you're carrying 2x4s. Unless you're stacked tall enough, you're not going to be able to really carry 2x4s with this because you're gonna need a little bit of downforce with the straps around it to help hold everything in place. Now in the past, I've just carried two by fours with just running a front and rear rack with no sides. So you'll find you may have to modify what you're doing to carry two by fours. I normally don't carry that many, so I can put them inside my car. I think I can hold up to 12, so it's not as big a deal for me. This rack was more for just carrying those big bulky items that I just can't fit in my car. Now one thing you can do to resolve that issue is when you're notching the boards like I did in the front, to notch them halfway down, each halfway down so everything fits flush. And same with the rear boards, uh, notch each one halfway so it goes flush. I don't think this will take an, enough strength out of the roof rack where you'd have to worry. It's probably something I will do eventually, but at this point I don't need to worry about it so I didn't get involved in notching all the way down. So this is my final design for my car. So I, a lot of times I need to bring two by fours home, which I can't fit inside my car, but there's a limit. I think I can fit a max of 12. Um, now I, I did almost the same way I used to. So I carry a canoe on top of my car a fair amount, and these are canoe pads. Uh, this back one's a better example, the front one I cut. Focus, there it is. So that's a canoe pad, so this sits in the gunnels of the canoe, and then the canoe goes on top of my car. So I always thought, well, if I can put a canoe in my car, why can't I put wood on the top of my car? So I used to use just the front board set up like this, and a back board set up like this, with not these side rails, which worked great. But, and then I uh, ratchet strap it to the top of my car, I come through my doors. Uh, I just open my door, bring it around, and then just ratchet strap it down, ratchet strap it down, which holds extremely well. But uh, a little while ago, I had a bit of a failure. My front, the way uh, my hood's curved, uh, kind of slopped, flopped over on me, and I was only on side road, so it wasn't a big deal. Pulled over, adjusted it, retightened it down, fixed. So I was looking to fix that and make it a little sturdier and still be able to break it down so I can fit it inside my car so I can travel where I'm going then pop it up and fit like a sheet of plywood. I haven't done a sheet of plywood yet but I don't see why I can't. So this is what I devised. I did the side rails uh, this time so it's a little more sturdy. So I notched the front bottom rail and side rail out an inch so they interlock together. There's no screws or anything holding this. This is it's, it's not going to go anywhere once you put force down on it. In the back, um, I didn't bother double notching the back. There's really not a need to. I only notched the top one, so I couldn't. Uh, I can't slide back and forth, and it's got some some rigidity uh, front and back of the bottom, so it can't move around. Uh, the setup feels rock solid. I don't see myself having a problem. I did. Now, I, I always bring it to the four corners of my car because these are the strongest parts of your roof. Anywhere kind of on the sides in the middle or even in the middle, like you can compress the roof, but the sides are all reinforced. So I bring the pads to the four corners. Um, I ended up notching this pad so it can sit like this because before it's sitting at more of an angle to the roof. 
and this front bar was sitting at an angle too. So I tried to notch my pad so it straightened out my board. Combo with notching these two forces the board straight. And I put it like this so it's just a stronger platform when I put some weight up there. I'm gonna try a sheet of plywood later today. My biggest thing is my strap gonna be long enough for a sheet of plywood because this is a little over three feet wide, I believe. So we will see if I have to, we'll just buy some more straps at Home Depot, get something a little longer. But this should work perfect. I looked online for a lot of options of what I can do just for a temporary rack to toss on my roof, uh, carry some wood home, and I'm all set. Because those of us without trucks, you know how challenging it is. Like, how do I get this home? Like, do I need to rent a truck every time? Do I need to borrow a French truck? Very annoying. So my method before worked great. I think this is going to work even better. Real simple. Pads I bought on Amazon. They're canoe pads. I'll post a link uh, in the video below. This, I ended up using four 2x4s. Um, from there, you'll probably have to modify your setup to fit your car a little better. Uh, make sure you go to the four corners of your car. I definitely recommend that uh, for strength on your roof. The canoe pads, they grip to your roof, so once you ratchet strap that down, it's not going anywhere. Do not travel with it on your car with it out strapped down because this will not stay in your car. This just picks up real easy and comes apart. Uh, definitely I would say test the setup with something small but if you've ever put a canoe on top of your car or a kayak and you don't have roof racks you just use pads this will work great for you uh, don't hold me liable if something breaks this is just the setup I do I want to show you guys because there's really nothing good on from what I found for how do you take wood home and you don't have roof racks and I don't want roof racks I don't want the noise I don't feel like putting in my car wasting the money on them so this is what I got the only things I were finding online were uh, stand-up paddleboard stuff and that just rested in the center of your roof which is fine a stand-up paddleboard weighs next to nothing and you don't need a lot of clamping force to hold it but when you want to put you know 50 60 pounds on your roof such as a canoe or uh, some wood you really need to go to the four corners of your roof the roof's curved so you need to be able to come up above that curve the canoe's curved so I never had an issue with that so this is what I got. Hope it helps you guys. Simple, e simple, easy project. You don't need a saw for it. A handsaw will work just fine. I used my table saw, made it, or my miter saw, made it a lot easier. But uh, hope this helps some of you out there who like to do their how-to projects themselves and don't have a truck. This is the setup with plywood on it. Plenty of room, didn't even have to undo my antenna. I did uh, two sheets of plywood and I have a sheet of drywall in there, quarter inch. No issues on the way home, took the side roads. Um, two ratchet straps, uh, you'll see in the picture later, wrapped around uh, in the front section, one in the back side, one in as far front as I could go in my car. But rock solid, no issues, very happy with how it performed, and this is, uh, that's pretty, pretty heavy. Things to look out for on this, and when you're stacking multiple items, make sure they're all have enough pressure where nothing's going to want to slide out. They, to resolve this, uh, I'll probably end up putting rubber on the top of all the surfaces of the roof rack so I don't have to worry quite as much or have to clamp as hard. And you can layer rubber in between each of the layers. Uh, this is especially important, I feel, with something like a 2x4. If you've got like a stack of them up there, you may find the middle ones aren't getting as even pressure. So you'll want to be very careful, maybe use some rubber or just be wary how you're stacking stuff.